You're a creative professional with a growing business, spending your time designing pixels and vectors. But as your customer base is growing, so is your design team. And this calls for a better way to manage your Adobe software within your organization. During these next few minutes, we'll provide you with a quick and easy overview on how Adobe Creative Cloud for Teams can install and manage products like Adobe Creative Cloud and Adobe Acrobat across your team. We'll explain how to use the Adobe Admin Console, how to install Adobe Creative Cloud onto your computer, and how to assign Creative Cloud licenses across your team. To finish off, we'll briefly talk about how you can manage product updates or log a support ticket in case you ever run into trouble. But before we dive into all of that, let's first take a step back and learn how Adobe Creative Cloud works. Adobe Creative Cloud is an all-in-one solution that gives you access to the latest desktop applications, mobile applications, and cloud services. Getting access to all of these solutions is done by first identifying yourself using your email address and password. This account is called an Adobe ID. But just creating an Adobe ID isn't enough. In fact, anyone can create a free Adobe ID via Adobe's website to register for email newsletters or trial software. But that doesn't mean you have a Creative Cloud membership. One of the key things is to understand the difference between having an Adobe ID, having a Creative Cloud membership, and installing Adobe Creative Cloud onto a computer. Let's make an analogy with basic email. Let's say you're installing an email application onto your computer. Simply installing the application doesn't give you access to your email yet. You first need to identify yourself using your email address and password. And only then can you start writing, sending, and receiving emails. Adobe Creative Cloud is very similar, since it's a subscription-based solution that runs on a desktop computer that gives you access to every app and service that's available today, the moment you log into your applications. Let's take a look at an example. Here in this scenario, an agency decides to install Adobe Creative Cloud onto a total of seven different computers, including both laptop and desktop computers. In fact, you can install Creative Cloud on as many computers as you like. But only installing Adobe Creative Cloud on a computer doesn't use up any of your licenses. It's only when the team admin assigns a Creative Cloud license to somebody's Adobe ID that the user can actually start using the software. And once this is done, the user can log onto any computer that has Adobe Creative Cloud installed by using the email address and password associated with their Adobe ID. Here in this example, four designers logged into Adobe Creative Cloud using their Adobe ID, and these users will remain logged in with access to every product installed until they log back out. The main advantage here is that you, who manages the software and licenses, have a way to give or remove access to Adobe Creative Cloud with just one click of a mouse. If you have designers that leave your agency or freelancers that have finished their assignment, just remove their software entitlement in the admin console to revoke their access to Adobe Creative Cloud and then reassign these licenses to other staff members. And when business is booming, you can even order additional seats directly from the admin console to accommodate for your ever-growing team of designers. It's that easy. So now that we know how Adobe Creative Cloud works, it's time to explain how you set everything up. First, you'll have to download Adobe Creative Cloud and install it onto a computer. And in a second phase, we'll show you how to add your designers in the admin console. But where can we find all of this? Do we just download everything from adobe.com? Well, that's where the admin console comes in. The admin console is the central hub that manages all of your team's Adobe products, like Adobe Creative Cloud, Adobe Stock, or Adobe Acrobat. But it's a lot more than that. Hosted by Adobe and accessible via a web browser, it gives your team admin a quick and clear overview of who's assigned a Creative Cloud license, how to manage support tickets, and how to download software updates. Since it's also possible to purchase additional licenses directly from the admin console, it also displays your contract VIP anniversary date. The anniversary date serves as a date on which each year all subscription licenses co-terminate and must be renewed. Compared to a situation where every designer would have their own individual Creative Cloud license, let's say seven as an example, the team admin now knows exactly when all seven licenses need to be renewed within the organization. This greatly reduces paperwork and saves a lot of time since team admin doesn't need to follow up on seven individual renewals spread out throughout the year. From now on, there's one renewal date, one point of contact, and one contract to manage. At first, only one team admin is assigned to the admin console, but you can easily assign more admins if needed. After all, everyone needs a holiday from time to time. One of the first steps to get everything up and running is of course installing Adobe Creative Cloud. 
The best way to do this is by downloading an installation file from the admin console, which we call a package. A package is a file that bundles one or multiple Creative Cloud applications together, allowing you to install all of them at once. This is a useful solution for organizations that want control over which Adobe Creative Cloud applications or versions are being used. But for smaller teams and most agencies, this isn't really an issue, and designers are free to download and install whatever Creative Cloud product they need. We call this self-service. And lucky for us, it's extremely easy to set up. Just download a self-service package from the admin console and install it onto each of your designer's computers. This will install the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application, which allows a designer to download and install their favorite design applications. And don't worry, your users don't even need to have admin rights on their machine to install or update their design applications. In order to grant a team member access to Adobe Creative Cloud, they first need to be added as a user in the admin console. And adding users is extremely easy. Just add users to the admin console one by one or bulk import them using a CSV template. But remember, just adding a user doesn't mean you're giving them a Creative Cloud membership. Right now, you're merely building a pool of users to choose from once you start assigning licenses. When finished importing, group users into separate user groups to make them even easier to manage. For example, you can group users together per team, media, or maybe office location. As a team admin, you can assign Adobe Creative Cloud licenses to your fellow designers by simply clicking their name and choosing the appropriate license. Once a user is assigned a license, he or she will receive a welcome email after which the user finalizes the account details and can then start using Adobe Creative Cloud. It's also important to understand that assigning a license to a user is never permanent. When a user decides to leave your agency, their license can be removed from the Adobe Admin Console, making it available again to the team admin. And when a new designer is hired, the license can be reassigned. This system offers agencies flexibility in managing and distributing licenses across the team. One of the beautiful things about Adobe Creative Cloud is that new technology and innovation is made available to all users the moment it's released by Adobe. Because of this, frequent updates to Adobe Creative Cloud applications will occur, and it's important to keep your software up to date in order to take advantage of the latest and greatest. There are several ways to manage your software updates. However, some of the more technical techniques are beyond the scope of this introduction video. Because of that, we'll focus on the two simplest scenarios. The first one is extremely basic. Just instruct your designers to update their software directly from the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application. This method uses an individual approach and is perfect for organizations where users are free to use whichever version they prefer. The other option is to build a completely new package from the admin console. But this time, the package can include one or more new Adobe Creative Cloud applications that will overwrite the ones on the computer. Once built and downloaded, the package can be installed onto every computer without needing user interaction. You can even deploy your new software across the entire network using solutions like Microsoft SCCM. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide how to manage your software versions. But know that Adobe Creative Cloud offers you many ways to install and update your creative applications within your team. For more information, consult the Creative Cloud help pages for detailed instructions. Everyone has a bad day from time to time. And the same goes for your computer. When your favorite design application suddenly turns its back on you and decides to crash or misbehave, there's no need to scour the internet for answers. Instead, use the Adobe Admin Console to log a support ticket or chat directly with an Adobe support agent for technical support, available 24 seven. And that's not all. You can even book a remote 30 minute expert session with an Adobe design expert for your team members to learn more about updating and installing software new product features, or other topics of your liking. It's all included in your Creative Cloud for Teams membership. No one wants to slow down when business is booming, and we know you don't have time for emails or telephone calls. That's why you can order additional Creative Cloud licenses for your team directly from the admin console. Just navigate to your product overview within the admin console, select the additional applications you need from the product catalog, and send your order directly to your Adobe Account Manager or Adobe Authorized Reseller for further processing. Once your order is processed and confirmed, you'll see your additional licenses automatically appear in your admin console. From there, it's only a matter of assigning them to your team members. As you can see, Creative Cloud for Teams offers you every application a designer needs, a simplified platform for managing users and licenses, and 24-7 technical support. Your organization has never looked better.